Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. Potential energy. Potential energy is just the amount of energy that's stored in something. And it can be stored in many different ways, but there's three main types of potential energy. Uh, the first is elastic energy, like when you bend a bow and a bow and arrow, you're, you're storing energy in that bent bow, or in the elastic uh, in a rubber band, or in something with uh, bungee cord that has elasticity. When you pull that, you can get some stored energy that you can then release. Um, or a spring, maybe a spring that you compress. Those are all types of elastic energy. Um, there's other energy like chemical energy, uh, so gasoline and diesel, fuels that we use, calories. When you eat a lot of calories, you store that energy as fat, and then when you burn that fat, you convert it into another type of energy, right? Kinetic energy, the energy of motion. Um, another type of energy is gravitational energy, so an object at a high position with a gravitational force on it has stored energy as well, okay? Uh, and a formula, quite, this is a quite common one we use in physics to solve. The formula for gravitational energy, or that stored energy, is the mass of an object times the gravitational force, which again is 9.8 meters per second squared, times the height of that object, okay? So uh, let's look at a question that you might be asked to solve uh, on potential energy, and typically they're going to be the gravitational energy form. Uh, so over here, how much work is required, and remember when we talk about work, we're talking about the amount of energy that's required, so work and energy are really pretty synonymous here, okay? How much work is required to lift a four kilogram TV from the floor to a stand 1.5 meters above the floor, right? So right up maybe on your mantle, say, okay? Well, let's look at the, uh, we're talking about positional energy here, so we need to figure out the potential energy equals mass times gravity times height, okay? And we just have to, once we remember this formula, we have our mass is four kilograms. Our gravity here, I'm gonna simplify 9.8 meters per second squared to 10 meters per second squared, okay? And those are times each other. And then we're, the height we're moving it up is 1.5 meters, 1.5 meters, okay? And if I multiply this four and 10, 1.5, I get 60, okay, and the unit for work or energy is joules, so the potential energy in that stored TV up there is 60 joules, okay? So this is how you might solve a problem on potential energy. And by two, I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it, work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> That should be... Less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>